Two weeks ago, we reached out to you guys to help us with the plans for the master ensuite bathroom, and we received some amazing proposals. There's still new simulations coming in, like this one, separating a sink and a wet area from Isabel Perillo, or this golden one from Zen House Architecture, which also features a pretty dressing room. However, we had to make a decision on the base layout, but before we can share it with you, there's some prep work to do. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's vlog. The time has finally come for me to channel my inner Mary Kondo and tidy this mess up. So I am on a roll today. I've finished cleaning up the room that's going to be the dressing room. And this is a job that I've been waiting to get on with for the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm finally going to strip off this beautiful 60s wallpaper. So I've got my trusty wallpaper stripper. Honestly, this didn't cost anything. It was very cheap, but it was a great investment. I'm back in my blue outfit. You haven't seen me like this for a while. I know it looks gorgeous. It's some sort of glamour edition of Super Mario. And the reason why I'm wearing this outfit is because today I'm doing something very difficult. I need to do this job from the other side. So the debris will fall into here. If I take you with me in the other room. Anna has done an amazing job cleaning this room. Look at this. Wow, I don't know, maybe she's filmed that already. But I'm filming it again because it's so beautiful. Oh. Philip, wait. Um, I'm just a little bit scared. Are we making a mistake? It's, it's too late, I made, I made my mind up. Okay, but what if we've made the wrong decision? I, I promise you, I'll be gentle. Have I ever made a wrong decision in this, in this project? Um, yes. I'm and, really scared. And I, I protected my hands, and I want to do this as gently as possible. I'm also protecting my eyes because it really helps against hundreds of angry comments about health and safety. I don't want a glass shattering all over the place. 
So I carefully remove it without the use of a hammer. No shards. As you might have guessed by now, we decided to open up the second door in the bathroom to create a direct access to the dressing room. It also means that we will close the existing door towards the hallway and create a separate toilet accessible from within the bathroom. Siki, what is it? What do you think? Look at this. Look at this, Siki. Look here. Look here. It's going to be a bathroom and a, di a dressing room. Then why don't you do a line like this? Ah. Like that, uh, this is the dressing room and this is the bathroom. Oh. Why didn't we think about that? Why didn't we think about that? That's a good idea, Ella, actually. Now, this is exactly why we wanted to do this. Look at this, the flow in between those rooms. I love it. So the rooms will be always nice and airy. It's so surprising how the opening up of a door changes the perception of the spaces. Like being able to see from this room into this room make, gives it a complete different feel and, and a really good feel. So I'm very pleased that we decided to do this, even though it's obviously a lot of work and I hope I can rescue this door and, and fit it in here. The downside, however, or the dark side of renovating a chateau is that the, the beginning of every project, the phase where you destroy things and break walls down, makes everything look worse than before. And it's a problem especially for us because we want to make exciting content. And whenever we start a project, these first episodes when we do the destruction might seem a bit underwhelming. But I promise you, the further we go into this project, the more exciting it will be. And hopefully by then you're still all there. But I have another good job to do now. I can take this door off, hopefully, and put it in here, provided that the measurements are the same. Good. Funny, it almost... It almost fits. Right here. Oh, it's not, it's not that side anyway. Sorry, that oh, doesn't make sense. It has to go on the other side. It has to go in here. What's easier, taking this frame off and installing it here by cutting this beam in half or installing this door. And I think, it's quite obvious, it's easier to install this door here. I can tell there used to be hinges installed here. They've been taken out, the counterpart to the hinges that are still on the door. I would need to get them out from the other door and install them here. I really don't know what to do and I'm definitely out of my comfort zone here. But I do know somebody who could be really helpful. Bonjour! Salut! 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 était là à l'origine. Ouais, elle est dans mon sens, elle était, les gommes, elle était ça. Et je pense, quand ils ont condamné cette porte, 
Ils l'ont pas jeté, ils l'ont mis là, ils ont ouvert là, ils l'ont mis là. Il faut faire une petite euh, encoche euh, et je me suis dit que toi, tu, tu as l'habitude de faire ça. Je pensais que c'était bien d'avoir un assistant. J'avais l'impression que je travaillerais mieux avec un assistant. Ah, là, tu es en train de faire une proposition. là. Waouh, wow, je, je suis très, très content. Je vais enfin découvrir un vrai métier. Pourquoi tu commences bah, pas Écoute, ça sera avec grand plaisir. Ça commence euh, Tout de suite bah, oui, je n'ai pas fait venir pour euh, que je te raconte tout ça pour, ah, parce que tu, ah, pour ah, le plaisir. Ah, C'est comme ça que tu... Ah, non, mais j'ai des outils. Normalement, les menuisiers viennent avec leurs outils. Oui, mais tu m'avais pas dit que c'était pour travailler. Ah, tu, tu penses que je te vide comme ça <rire> euh, Oui, bon, je prends bah, un petit café. <rire> ah, oui, non, mais ça, que, je fais ça que avec des amis. Hein. Ah, pardon, ouais, excuse-moi. Ouais, ouais, excuse Et tu veux pas qu'on vienne demain Est-ce que tu en as vraiment besoin aujourd'hui Non, ça peut attendre demain, mais ça veut dire qu'il faut que je te vois encore une fois. Enfin, je sais pas que je n'aime pas te voir, mais tous les jours, ça fait, ça fait beaucoup, quoi. Ah oui, d'accord, <rire> belle mentalité. Ouais, t'as pas changé. Ouais, mais on va travailler dans l'ambiance, c'est ça, nous. La porte, et puis on, on commence à faire les plans pour tous les autres euh, exactement. Les choses. Exactement, tous les habillages que tous tu veux habillages, à droite et à gauche. Exactement. Tu m'as quand même manqué. Moi, je commençais, euh, bah, ouais. toi aussi. Je ça euh, ça oui, m'embête de le dire, mais ouais, toi ouais, aussi, mon cool. poteau. <rire> Sniff. <rire> <rire> of living in a historic house like this is to know that there have been people before you trying to figure out how to make these spaces work. This part of the chateau has been added in the 19th century. There used to be a staircase, a very small staircase coming up from the ground floor, so we believe it's a servant staircase. It has been taken off at one point to create the bathroom. Now we know that the bathroom has been renovated in the 60s because we found the newspaper in the wall and now we're doing it again. Each time people reorganized it, make it more efficient, more suitable for their needs and more modern. And funny enough, that's exactly what you should do with your homepage if you want people to engage with it and not just clicking away. But the good news is it's much easier than renovating a bathroom. You just need a platform like Squarespace, which helps you to build a stunning online presence and also happens to be this week's ad. Squarespace is so easy to use because it's based on perfectly designed templates and all you have to do is to fill it with your content, add as many pages as you want and elements specific to your needs. It's a perfect solution if you want to build a web shop for your e-commerce business, if you need to share your work with your clients or if you just need a digital presence for your brand. If you want, you can even buy a domain from Squarespace which keeps everything in one place, plus there are no hidden costs with them. So if you want to create or rebuild your own online web presence, I highly suggest head over to squarespace.com. And if you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to benefit the shuttle to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Tomorrow is Anna's birthday. I'm not going to tell you how old she's getting. She reached the age where it might be a little bit embarrassing, but it doesn't matter. And I'm barely younger than her. But the important thing is I love her more than ever. And that's why I'm going to make her a birthday cake. I am outside my comfort zone when I make a birthday cake. So if I'm going to show you what I make tonight, it's not to teach you anything, it's purely to show off what a great husband I am. Obviously, when you make cakes, you need a recipe. I'm going to make a carrot cake. Four eggs and 250 grams of sugar. So, so, so stupid. The sugar brand in France is called Daddy. I use a little bit less sugar because I always think that recipes are too sugary. I'm so excited. Two, three, four. I think there should be two. <laughs> that looks different. Um, vanilla. Ooh, ooh. I need to hide my eyes because it auto focuses on my eyes. Can you see it? 180 grams of oil. Muscat, musket, musket, musket nuts, musk, musk nuts, musk nuts, I don't know. I'll just put a little bit. Not such a nice color. I, I like it, it's a bit like drawing by numbers. You just follow somebody else's instructions. 250 grams there. Sugar, I can't remember whether I put it on zero. That doesn't seem like 250 grams. Let's take it out again. Let's go back to zero. Nah. So that was nine, that was 50, and so it's still 200 more. It doesn't need to be so precise. Okay, so the problem is, that doesn't look like a thing for a cake, does it? It's way too liquidy. So I'm gonna just put a bit more. Mm, what's that in English, Livio? Raising powder, raising, raising powder. 300 grams of carrot.
nuts, nuts. Um, they need to be crushed. <laughs> They're nicely crashed now. Flower. Oh my goodness, if Molly sees that. Molly Wilkie, I hope you don't watch this. You see, this goes in the oven now for 30 to 40 minutes. Ta-da! I think this is not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh. This is probably cake number three or four in my entire life. Some hearts. Oh, isn't that cute? So I kind of ran out of time on Tuesday to finish off stripping the wallpaper. It's a little bit tricky because it's kind of like this, I don't know what it is, it's some kind of plastic wallpaper, maybe specifically for bathrooms. The steamer doesn't really work very well on it. I have to kind of peel away the uh, top layer, this plasticated layer, so that I can actually get the steam onto the base layer. Mm -hmm. 